swap casters just for fun. So uh, Oni is out and uh, my teammate BotBot is in. Howdy, howdy. So BotBot <laughs> decided, you know, he wanted to try his hand at casting. So uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. He is still, I can say, in-game rocking the titanium white scarab. So, you know, that just tells you everything Gotta be. about BotBot. <laughs> <laughs> everything you need to Cleanest do. Cleanest car in the game. Uh, you're rocking a meme car, so... Oh, shut up. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. But, we are going to be swapping over. And uh, looking at the standings of Div A right now. So, looking right now, Div A standings. I mean, I think we all know who's on top right now sitting at car swappers. Which is, uh, you know, I can't say it's to be expected. They're not that good, though. We took them to game five. So, you know, we, we can take them again next time. But Facts. two teams that are going to be uh, on stream tonight are going to be final boss. And then uh, everyone's favorite. I'll turn you down just a little bit. Uh, everyone's favorite, Greek Avenger, who's going to be on second thought and his teammate Ibex, which I know there's a lot of Greek fans. Yes, yes, Fox. Greek is finally here. And uh, predictions are up, you guys. I want to see you guys. If you're a Greek fan, you know, make sure to throw your bison bucks at Greek. Uh, so far, bitwise... Final boss is pretty, pretty heavily in the lead at almost 90%. Uh, voting wise, though, second thoughts actually winning this one. Uh, so, you know, go figure on that one. But uh, why don't you talk about the uh, the standing so far of where these two teams are in Div A? Yeah, obviously, uh, final boss in second. Um, I think they're a strong contender. Uh, just looking at their stats on the spreadsheet, I mean, this matchup looks a little bit one sided. Um, yeah, I, th I think they have every category except for two, and then those two are tied. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully, second thought uh, can show up and uh, take it to game five for the content. It's in the script, so they have to. But uh, it's all for the content. Um, yep, second thought in sixth place, two and two. Um, yeah, I, not much to say about them, I guess, just based on the stats. We did play them, so I have seen them a little bit more. Um, that well, being said, well, speak, I was gonna say, speaking of second thought, we will uh, here we'll swap over and uh, there we go. We'll pull up uh, second thought stats and you can just uh, keep going on stats if you want. Oh, absolutely. Um, so yeah, um, Greek Avenger, uh, probably the number one player on the team. Uh, Ibex though coming in clutch with the assists. Um, obviously gives Greek the more goals with the assists, uh, but Ibex is definitely still there. Uh, a lot of saves from them. Uh, it could be because other teams are getting shots on them. The one thing I'm noticing from the stats is that they don't have a ton of goals compared to other teams. So hopefully they can find some offense and score some goals because you do have to score more goals than the other team to win. <laughs> can confirm. Believe it or not. Uh, it's, it's crazy how that works. It has actually been backed by scientific uh, data. You do not. You do need to score more goals. But speaking of more goals, I will say uh, this one probably blow your mind. If we... Uh, Pull up. Hold on. Let me get you. There we go. Final boss on that one. Stewie leading the league with three goals a game right now. It's uh, been kind of ridiculous. And you want to talk about who's uh, diming him up is going to be his teammate legendary. 1.29 assists per game. So, so far, at least as far as offense, guys, these, they're, they're number one. They're just, they're, they are a clear number one duo right now. They have done so well. And so it's, you know, can they keep that going against a team like Second Thought? Is Second Thought going to be, you know, warmed up? Are they going to be feeling good tonight? Stewie was actually already messaging me behind the scenes saying he's scared to go against Greek. The Greek's a god. So yeah, who knows what will be happening. But uh, when you're Stewie shooting 6.64 shots a game, I think it's the other way around. I think Greek should be the one who's scared of Stewie. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's tough uh, if you're on defense the entire game. Defense wins championships, but again, you need an offense to win games, um, especially in Rocket League. And I... The one thing I think that they have going for them is that you're not seeing a lot of demos from uh, from Final Boss, so it might be a little bit easier. But still, with the 6.64 shots a game, it's gonna be a little tough. Looking at so far submissions, it's uh, it's still at 89% uh, in favor, at least bits wise, and you know for Final Boss. Uh, but it is voting wise five five, so we are tied in voting. And uh, I want to hear who you think is gonna be taking this one as we are waiting for these players to get into the lobby. And then we're going to be uh, getting into this match tonight. I've pretty much already said it. I'm I, I'm thinking final boss here. I, I don't necessarily think it's going to be a 3-0, but um, I don't think second thought's going to take more than one game off them. I literally, I was I was going to say the exact same thing. I think it's going to be a 3-1 going towards uh, final boss. I mean, don't get me wrong. 
Greek and Ibex can do really, really well together. But I think Stewie, just overall, uh, the way he plays, I think he's going to be fast. I think he's going to shoot accurate. And I think that's going to be, and first of all, Legendary. We cannot emphasize enough how well Legendary is as a support cast. It's actually ridiculous. Again, he is... You know, there's some doubters in chat like Trey, but if you have the number one goal scorer in the league and the number one assists in the league, that turns out pretty well. Look at last season. Look at the Turtle Snipers. Myself was the number one goal scorer and Dorsher was the number one in assists. And we did, you know, really, really well throughout the league. I think that Stewie and Legendary are going to be very similar. Just tandem offense, 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 offense. Absolutely. And yeah, if you're scoring nine goals a game, why do you play defense? <laughs> no, you don't need to play. Well, like you said, it doesn't matter if you give up 10 goals as long as you score 11 because more exactly, goals wins. Exactly. You it's win easy. by one goal and you win the game. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. All right. Making sure both these guys are ready to go. We are going to be hopping into this one. And uh, we both we both say 3-1 going towards final boss. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens as we get into this. That is a little awkward, though. We both did 3-1. The script says five five games. Last time, you guys. Last call for predictions. Still at uh, tied five to five. So I'm a little little surprised. But uh, hey, you know, if people have their favorites, they have their favorites. Greek fans, maybe not as uh, maybe not as prevalent tonight as we uh, expected. But I think it's still got a fair amount of fans out there. A little, fair amount of family out there, I should say. <laughs> We're gonna see Ibex now throwing this one early. Greek with 45 boost. Starting out early, Stewie, I think, is going to be uh, a little speedy boy around the field. I think it's going to be catching Greek off guard. But I will say, Greek's playing playing really well lately. He, uh, I think he's sitting at right about 1,500 or like 1,520 in MMR and twos, which is actually ridiculous. So now now we have, so Greek as far as his family, and uh, I don't know if someone needs to, you know, what the lore behind Greek's family is, but we have Greek's baby mama. We have Greek's sugar daddy. I know Greek's grandpa was here. Greek's uncle, Greek's mom. There's so many Greek family members that it's ridiculous. I don't know how you can't win when you have the support from Greek Avengers family in chat. Absolutely. And, you know, like you were saying, uh, Stewie's going to be fast. He, he, we've already seen him aping a little bit. Um, but yeah, and, and we weren't seeing the defense we thought was going to come out. And yeah, absolutely. It leads to a goal. Good neutral kick off here, Greek cheating I was, was going to say, appreciate that. Greek Sugar Daddy and uh, Justin Lung. Uh, appreciate the follows, you guys. Hopefully you are enjoying the content. As uh, I mean, how can you not enjoy Greek scoring again? He is the most beloved man in the league, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. I know it's not K-Tool. <laughs> yes, K-Tool is the uh, exact opposite of that. Which is why we work so well together being the, uh, the VP and the treasurer. So then you got Trey who, uh, you know, it's, it's Trey. But <laughs> getting back it's into the great. game, though, Stewie, he's going to hopefully turn this one in easy okay. as it goes. There we go. Nice and quickly tying this one up. And uh, just a little bit of an overcommit coming out of second thought. Greek not getting a good pinch middle. And uh, yeah, you know, you just kind of got to take the L on that one and pick next. Yep. And Stewie just being quick again, getting there and then getting the open net. That easy. Trey saying, leave it out of this. Yes, sir. Leave it out indeed. 1-1 one, one score. Scoreboard. Now, <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to say, it's going to be interesting anytime uh, anyone from uh, Final Boss scores, how the uh, the booing in chat will entail. People just saying, lucky gold, no skill, so bad. Yeah, yeah, a lot of Greek fanboys. So the question is, you know, if you're Stewie, maybe you don't want to win just for your own safety. You know, I, I don't know how threatening Greek's family is, but uh, I might be worried. What do you think Stewie's integrity is there? Do you do you think he's worried for the death threats, or do you think he's just well? See, he doesn't go to NDSU, so that's I think his only way out. I think he's just gonna hide over in Moorhead. Fair. Stay stay below the radar, and you can't get killed. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna see now. You say below the radar, fans. Legendary gonna have to leave completely with zero boost. Stewie gonna be quick again. This is so high. Legendary. He doesn't have the boost. He wanted to go help out, but he just had to wait and bide his time. Stewie now. Both players from Final Boss having plenty of boost. Getting this one mid. Can Stewie capitalize? Yes, he can. Quick as she comes. Ibex on the goal line. Not able to get a good save. Definitely was possible. Actually, it was Greek on the goal line. Very awkward with how high it was. And Legendary was threatening the bump. Stewie coming in, being fast and. Uh, the lead came and gone as fast as it went from second thought. Yeah, noticing too, second thought kind of just stuck in their own half there for a while. Probably a little bit low on boost. Maybe that's coming up with the with the light touch there from Ibex, but um, 
Hopefully they again pull out some defense, maybe more offense, maybe an open goal here. Maybe. And Greek, he what are you doing? It? Not quite. Greek didn't want it. It, it, it wasn't open here. enough. It wasn't open enough. We already had Trey in chat what, earlier our, saying open net nets. Yeah. It's, it's impossible. Op open nets are hard. Driving forward is hard. You know, according to Greek, driving forward is one of the, you know, highest skills to learn in Rocket League. And uh, open nets, you can't, you, you don't learn open nets. You just miss them. There, there's no winning when it comes to open nets. We're going to see Ibex. We'll see if he can hit the open net here. Yes, he can. Sure Turning that one in. Tied Superior to two. teammate. So here's something for you. Every single of these four goals so far, three of them have been open nets. Literally, the only goal that wasn't was uh, the second one coming out of final boss that Stewie was quick on the uh, backboard. Legendary got a really good pass towards him. But yeah, a lot of open nets so far. So are you thinking that's outplays in the corner and leading the open nets, overcommits? What do you I, think? I, I think, yeah, I think it's outplays in the corner, people getting caught off by the speed and power from these touches coming out from the corner and just not respecting it. I think it's going to take them a little while to get used to uh, what each other's play styles is. And I think, obviously, overcommitting, this is going to be a great uh, game. Just like that, overcommitting a second man, that's what's happening right now. The second man is cheating and not respecting the clears, and it's uh, resulting in a lot of goals so far. Absolutely. Here we see Greek coming up with maybe some offense, not quite. Ibex following and can't quite get past. Greek has to pull off. He's there again, kind of getting uh, getting Stewie stuck in his own half. Bex is there again, still stuck in the own half. So here's Good something shot. for you. Not quite. So second thought, their only two wins are against Squishy Muffins and OK Boomer, who are 0-3 right now. So we're going to see another goal go in. But so second thought has yet to get a win against another team that has gotten a win. Versus you look at final boss, 3-1 Frosted Flakes, 3-0 Pulse Ultra. Then they actually lost the car swappers, but then they came right back and 3-0'd Obsidian Seeds. So final boss getting good, solid wins. Second thought, still looking for a really good, meaningful win against a team that has a win of their own. And do you think that's just them getting in their heads? Um, trying to get, uh, looking at the stat board a little too much, getting intimidated before the game? And then just not quite pulling through. What do you what do you think the reasoning is behind that stat? Uh, hold on, I just got a timeout for one second. Uh, cool cat meow uh, tipping three dollars, uh, saying, "Hey, Greek fans, scoreboard." So a uh, little bit of spice coming out of that one, and uh, appreciate that. Uh, FTC sending love from TCU. Hopefully you are enjoying it down there. It might be a little bit warmer than uh, it is up in Fargo, as it's you know negative cold out. We're gonna see Stewie putting in another one. And uh, second thought started out strong, and then it's uh, kind of going downhill fast. So my question to you, defensive-wise, what do Greek Adventure and Ibex need to do? Because it's starting to turn ugly. I think they need to stop the ball from going in the net. That's we can we can end the stream. We we can be done. I, I agree. Yeah. That's it. GG's. Yeah. Really, much. there's no there's no reason to play the rest of the games. Right. Look at that backward yeah, defense I mean, non-existent. Game over. Again, though, like you're saying, a lot of the goals are just kind of overcommits, open nets. Um, and Stewie <laughs> having four already. I mean, uh, hold on. So Greek, Greek, I was gonna say, or not Greek. Sorry, Trey. You know, tipping three dollars, saying scoreboard, and then Fox comes back and says, "Hey, at least I still have three dollars." So, I don't know who's <laughs> necessarily really winning that battle, but I don't know who was uh, winning game one and uh, final boss taking this one. I can't say cleanly because again, a lot of open nets, and it was just kind of ugly. But ugly wins is still a win. That's all that matters. You're getting all a the win board. is a win. Exactly. And I know you love to talk. The second game is a swing game, K-Tool, but um, statistically you win the first game in the series, and I think it's around 80% you will win the, uh, the match. So what, what are you thinking? Do you think, uh, do you think second thought is a second thought at this point? So what, what I've noticed is Greek Adventure and Ibex, first of all, they're playing very, very separate right now. They're really not using each other as teammates, and they're really getting caught in corners. And that's, again, where a lot of goals are happening, are open nets. It's Stewie being fast and Stewie getting powerful shots that they're just not expecting. So I think if they can relax a little bit, calm down in the corners, and play a little smarter on outplays, I think they'll be golden. I mean, as far as shots, you can see uh, three apiece versus Stewie, seven shots. I mean, you, you need to slow Stewie down and not give him open nets. Force him to actually make the outplay to score on you. We're going to see Ibex off kickoff, throwing this one downfield. Greek, this might be an awkward bounce for him. He actually pops it directly in the middle, but still has control of this one, popping it up to Fanta's Legendary, who I don't think we really said Legendary's name like once last game. He's been exceptionally quiet so far this series. Yeah, absolutely. Stewie's just kind of always on the ball, being fast, like you said. Um, kind of just being in every play, aping a little bit. Um, but obviously working out for him, I think he had four goals last game. 
yeah, four goals. He, uh, he was sitting at seven shots. Legendary had one. So, uh, Stewie, I, I mean, again, he's shooting fast. And uh, we, we know how Stewie plays. You know, he's not the most mechanical player in the world. He shoots very accurate. He's speedy. And his shots are very powerful. And that's what caught second thought out. And so if they can kind of say, okay, we know what Stewie wants to do. He wants to be speedy. He wants to just go for power shots. I think they can come back. And I think they just need to play a little bit cleaner on the outplays. Because so far... It's the transition game from second thought is, you know, a second thought right now. Absolutely. And you're even seeing there too, like right now uh, they're stuck in their own half. There were a couple over commits uh, from final boss. Uh, Stewie able to get back to make a couple saves there, which is nice, but um, they keep on over committing like that. I think we're going to see a couple goals go second thoughts way. Hey, we see FTC Palace with the follow. Appreciate that, my dude. Hopefully you are, like I said, enjoying the content. We're having a little fun up in uh, Fargo. There's not really much to do here uh, besides play Rocket League and, uh, you know, do some homework. So, uh, got to enjoy the nights because, you know, nighttime is gamer time. So, uh, decided to put on a little uh, little entertainment for you guys. And uh, so far, game two has been uh, not as entertaining as game one with not nearly the goal scored. And as I say that, Siri's like, okay, hold on. Time out, K-Tool. I'll, I'll get the scoring started. And uh, <laughs> again, a bump coming from Ibex and Greek not expecting the power and accuracy from Stewie. Literally just like game one. Yeah, just not quite respecting it, letting it get over his head, and unfortunately into the goal for uh, second thought. <laughs> uh, you love to see Trey is uh, he's being an instigator in chat right now, <laughs> to say to say the least. So my question is uh, in chat, Greek's uh, sugar daddy. Uh, does NDSU get covered under that blanket, or uh, how 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 does that work? Just just wondering, you know. I don't I don't, I don't know. <laughs> just saying. Because so far, let's be honest, Mr. President is the uh, NDSU sugar daddy. Oh, no, Greek. Oh, you no. Hate you hate to see it. That I one hate. That one hurt. All I have to say is feels bad. That is that is, that is a feels bad right there. You can't even say caster curse. Get out of here. That is not a caster curse. That is just a whiff coming out of Greek. He has no one to blame but himself on that one. And uh, again, this game, open nets. We haven't seen a Stewie, like good passing play. We haven't said Legendary's name. He hasn't needed to do anything this game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, Stewie with two goals right now and and four saves. I mean, the guy's a brick wall and Bye, Greek. an unmovable object, you know? How did he not die there? That's my question. Actually, Greek might have a shot on this one. Ibex is there, but the 50's not going to be working in his favor. Stewie's got very low boost. Probably going to turn and just go for the mid boost here, which he does. Greek now with a backflip again. Greek has not been feeling good this series, and we're going to see another goal. Finally, Legendary getting on the board, but Greek, who we're really looking forward to step up in this series, that's just, it's its not looking pretty so far. It sure is, and, and Ibex cheating up doesn't help. Um, obviously, he's probably thinking that Greek is going to get that touch, but... Well, yeah, and, um, you know, Greek's backflip, I don't know how much you can blame Ibex, because, yeah, Greek, you know, just a backflip, and so you're assuming he's going to get a 50 or something. You want to support him, so... Uh, <laughs> Trey in chat saying, you know, where's the Greek spam? And uh, he's uh, being a little toxic in chat. But either way, we're going to see this game is, again, getting out of hand. That's something we haven't seen is demos, which we'll see if Stewie with zero boost can make something happen on offense here. Not quite. 50 out in the corner. Fan is going to keep it alive. Knocked away by Greek. Ibex, though, with zero boost. This one's going to go mid. Is Greek there? No, he's respecting Legendary's touch, which, again, more power than Greek was expecting. We do see at least a demo, but it really is kind of just seems to be baiting second thought into the corner and then just shooting it over their head for an open net. Yep, absolutely. And we haven't really seen a whole lot of possession um, from either team. There's been zero. Straight um, up zero possession. Yeah, exactly. And, Have and you seen a pass yet? Just, just any one, one pass. So. One singular pass this whole series. Eh, fair enough. Uh-oh, that's a bad touch from Stewie. Greek's going to capitalize, getting on the board, cutting down the lead to two. We've been waiting on that one, and again, it was a very poor touch from Stewie and a capitalization. Minute and a half left. Do you think they can at least score and take it in overtime? No. But obviously, they can, but do you think no. they will? Honestly, no, I don't. I, I think, I mean, if you're relying on Stewie to make a bad touch on the goal line, and that's the only way you're getting your goals... They've been doing that all series so far, making bad touches. I think Stewie's going to go for like a little solo play. Maybe a flick up and over one. Ibex on the goal line. You'd love to see him there in the right spot. Legendary, who's just been kind of sitting back being second man. Oh, Greek, where are you going, bud? Greek, where are you going? But no, yeah, I, 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 I do another... think yeah, I think this is going final boss. Sure. 
Yeah, Freak, like I was saying oh, too, no. again, just not oh, quite no, getting good freak. touches there again, leading to another <laughs> goal for final boss. Um, looks like uh, maybe we have some hackers in the building. Uh, looks like NDC Rocket League, who's not me right now, <clears throat> Trey, has uh, timed out Junior Titan. I, I, I don't know what the rule book is on that one if someone's hacking into my account here on the back end. <laughs> Junior Titan saying I'm being impressed. Uh, yeah, sometimes the president has a little bit too much power. It turns into like a dictatorship. So, Titan, there's only uh, so much I can do there to help you out there. It is, in fact, an abuse of power. I would agree with you, Titan. Or, sorry, with Greek Sugar Daddy. There's too many Greeks in chat. It's hard to keep track of the family members. But I will say what's not hard to keep track of is uh, Final Boss taking the dub on this one. I mean, they're up by four. or up by three, sorry. I, I don't see Second Thought really having a chance in this one. But we did both say 3-1. So, by that logic, Second Thought wins the next game. Absolutely. Yeah, hopefully they can regain a little bit, um, start to get something going, maybe get more confidence and script, take it to game five. Who knows? Ooh, I like that. I like that. But yeah, this one is a little bit too far out of reach. Greek trying to get one for the road. Maybe Ibex, actually, the setup is there, but nah, then it's legendary. Again, we haven't said his name much on offense because he's been uh, been the stalwart guy on defense. Is he's this one, uh, this is going to touch the ground, and uh, that's that. Quick 2-0. Oh, are we going to see the 3-0? Oh, or do we see Second Thought finally take a game? I think they take it. I think they're, they're going to talk for a second after this one. They're going to cool down the nerves. Forget about the stat sheet. And they're going to play some Rocket League. Greek's going to get some touches next game. They're going to go his way. Things are going to go, go well for him. All right. That being said, a... I don't think it'll be a good margin. Yeah, there's uh, there's some craziness going on in chat. Yeah, Trey, if, there, if there's no refund, I'm I'm just gonna ban your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but spectating this one, I I really want to see second second thought do this. I mean, I have faith that they can clearly do it. They're playing well when they're not over committing in the corners, but that's what's killing them so far. Yeah, absolutely. That Freak. and just getting a little bit too far forward. Reverse sweep. Stewie booming it over the head in the net. Reverse sweep incoming potentially. I mean, it's definitely gonna be needed as we're gonna see. Game three getting underway is Ibex now throwing this one all the way to the corner and Stewie taking over. Can he go for a double tap or a pinch mid? It's not happening. Stewie got plenty of boost and he gets demoed on his way. Greek, can he get the centered? Ibex is there. He's got a good shot. Isn't on target. It beats out Stewie. Great start coming out of second thought. You finally see a passing play and a little bit of offense finally coming out of second thought here. Absolutely. And a little bit of possession throwing in a pass. First one we've seen. Uh, <laughs> starting to like the look a little bit more. Yeah, it was a clean start, and it's what they needed. Again, we both have second thought taking this one, because obviously we both predicted a 3-1. And being speedy, I think it's going to be key, first of all. I want to see more monkeying coming out of Greek and Ibex. And obviously, you know, we kind of been harping on Greek for just, you know, playing bad the last couple of games, which I think he has. I think if Greek steps it up and doesn't get these poor touches, I think they're going to have a very, very good chance of reverse sweeping. But it all starts with Greek. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I, I, I hate to say that he's expected to be the number one player, but he's just a higher rank. Um, and you don't expect to make as many mistakes at the higher rank. Um, Ibex, I'd understand it a little bit more, but um, yeah, Greek just has to kind of pull through a little bit. I'd agree. <laughs> as we see, yeah, there we go, you guys. Everyone should be happy that the, the president, Mr. Cool Cat Mal, oh no, Greek, we said his name. We needed him to step up and uh, that one is not what you want to see, but the president is banned, everyone. Banned at least for 10 minutes, and then, you know, he, he might he might show his face back in here. But for right now, you get uh, 600 seconds of, uh, yeah. <laughs> you get 600 seconds of that. But. A little bit of peace and quiet. A little, little bit of peace and quiet. You know, you like to see it. But, yeah, Greek, again, it's just these small touches. I don't know if he's panicking. Uh, I will say that uh, when I played with him earlier today, he did talk about that. Oh, right away, he said, I haven't played Rocket League in a hot minute, Kato. This might be rough. So. Oh, and yeah, already jumping fair. backwards, you know, that's right in Legendary's grasp, but speedy play. I want to see the monkey and Greek just step it up on the touches department. They'll be golden. That is the formula to win. They just need to implement it. Absolutely. Be faster, score more goals. Be faster, score more that's goals. That's the best advice I can give. Oh, it's easy. It's, it's really not hard, honestly. I mean, we did it last game. It worked out great. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and there Stewie. again, you're seeing Greek get kind of a bad touch, throwing it away to Stewie, almost capitalizing, not quite. Ibex, no boost, though. Legendary's going to throw one on target. That's a speedy shot all the way to the left side. Legendary getting on the board, taking away the lead from second thought. And again, Ibex, zero boost. Legendary saw it, and he's being speedy. Legendary doing exactly what we want to see out of Greek and Ibex. And Greek 
He's just kind of uh, like a fish in a barrel sitting on the goal line there. Fantastic shot from Legendary. Yeah, absolutely. Top shelf. Not a whole lot you can do about it. And absolutely banged on, too. Finally, nice to say Legendary's name, too. Legendary. He, yeah, like you said, he's been in the shadows, but uh, stepping up when his team needs it. You know, obviously, they're up by two goals right now, so they can relax a little bit. Don't need to get the dub right away. Follow the script. <clears throat> you guys, follow the script. <laughs> but, uh, okay, that was a little awkward, but Stewie will take that one. No issues here. This one's going all the way to the corner. How is Greek going to handle this one? Rushing back post, maybe going for a demo. He does get the oh, demo. Nice. Ibex does throw it mid, though. Right to Legendary again, shooting top corner. But Greek, goal line save. I thought, honestly, that was going in. I thought it was GG right there. Yeah, it was a close one for sure. Greek, Greek trying for a fake. Ibex back, hopefully. Not quite able to ape that off Stewie. Does get him to flick. Greek can clean it up. I just want to point out that uh, the president has, in fact, um, taken over the NDC Rocket League account. As I am casting, he has hopped on. So uh, just so you guys know, he uh, he does not want to leave. He is still, in fact, here. And uh, I will say Greek is still, in fact, on defense. He's actually got a one-on-one -on -one with Legendary. Is he going to get a flick going? He cuts it wide, pops it over one, actually slows it down. The net's open. Greek, you just got to drive forward. But driving forward, as we know, is one of the hardest mechanics in Rocket League. Now, Stewie on the counterattack. He had the ball for a second before getting deleted. And I want to know who's scoring the next goal. We'll see if you can uh, predict correctly. Oh, uh, it has to be. It has to be second thought. At this point, I think... No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll shut up. Oh, I was going to say, I if they don't score, it. they're not getting the confidence, and they're not going to win the game. Oh, I think and right again, now they're playing a little bit scared. We see mistouches coming out of Ivex, and for once, ladies and gentlemen, it is not Kate's who getting the caster curse, and uh, BotBot's to blame. I don't know if that's just being in the vicinity with me, but uh, yeah, that one, I, I think you can apologize to Second Thought for that one. I absolutely can. That is entirely on me. <laughs> I tell you what, though, this is going straight in there now. Straight in the net? Is that how that works? No, no, no. Stewie, Stewie's not going to bother to jump for this one. Which, again, I don't know what it is about Greek. He's just not playing that great tonight. So we'll see if a miracle could come out. I don't think so. But I'd, I'd like to be proven wrong. I would like to see a game, at least a game four. We didn't, unfortunately, see our game five last time. But, eh, that's, that's all right. We're going to see another one almost going in. Stewie just going to be going all the way back on defense. Actually bumping Legendary. Are we gonna see a three? Oh no! Oh, this is so ugly! Oh, it's so ugly! <laughs> they did their best. That's all I have to say. I mean, Ibex Hope missed. They're coming out. And yeah, you can't, you can't say that. No, <laughs> this is. Yeah, that one's not on Greek Avenger. We've been no, saying he's been playing battle not. series, but that is not on him. Yeah. Hey, Rasta four two oh nine. Appreciate the follow. Hopefully, you're uh, enjoying the content here. Little NDC Riot League action as we're gonna see Ibex. Throwing another one in. They got time. You know, only only two goals down. But we got to see it happening. I, I don't know if I have faith until I see some offense that's not, you know, a kickoff goal. I want to see. We saw the first goal was a pass, right? What you like to see beautiful. it? It was it was a gorgeous pass. And then after that, until this kickoff goal, they've been shut down. They've been on defense like 80% of this entire game. Yeah. And it, again, it would be nice to see them have a little bit of possession. Take their time a little bit maybe on offense or just straight up pass it. You know, I mean... They have to get it around the defense, and it's not happening right now. Oh, we see Legendary actually take this one to the sidewall. He's got plenty of boost. Can he go for a solo play? He's got it. Maybe a flip reset. He gets an awkward touch. Greek, what does he want to do with it? Greek, it's... Oh, Greek. I'm sorry, Greek. You are unfortunately just not playing up to the, the par that I think we're both expecting from you. And uh, Greek fans, unfortunately, will be disappointed in chat as this one gets further and further out of reach, but... I mean, sometimes you just don't play good, and I think tonight is definitely uh, not second thought tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I mean, obviously we saw the mistouch by Greek again. Um, not sure if he was trying to get fancy with it there and try to air dribble it out and just couldn't quite get there if he dead zoned his flip. I mean, it could have been a million things, but the point is it can't happen because um, it leaves it leaves the entire team out, especially when uh, Ibex isn't quite the player that Greek is supposed to be. Yeah, well, you say that, it's just like, it's not even that Ibex isn't that. I think, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, GG's to both. That was a, that was a tough fought game, mm -hmm. but as we're just to swap over, that, it was kind of hard to watch, honestly. I mean, as we'll send out the predictions, everyone gets their Bison Bucks. I went 2-0 tonight on predictions, so I'm, you know, a little happy with that, but that, that was rough to watch if you're a Greek Avenger and Ibex fan. I mean, really, it, I, and I, I don't know what it was necessarily. I don't know if just, 
you know, maybe he ate some, maybe he had some like bad pastrami, you know, who, who knows, like Garrett G. Hard to say, but. <laughs> it could be anything. Yeah, but overall thoughts on that series as we uh, prepare for the uh, winner's interview for these guys. Um, I, it was a SmackDown. I, you can't really say much else. I, Greek just kind of missing a lot and then um, putting their team out. A lot of a lot of open nets. You hate to see them. Uh, but yeah, they're coming out. So just just a really, really tough one for second thought and a really, really good win for uh, final boss. All right. Hopefully these guys are ready. So let us uh, hop over and hopefully get a uh, winner's interview from these guys. All right. All right. Can you guys uh, hear us all right over there? Mr. Mr. Stewie, Mr. Legendary. Yes, we can. Oh, good. I'm glad we can hear you guys. Uh, okay, first of all, first question to you guys. I'm muted. Hello. Oh, yeah, you, you, were, you were a little bit, but I, th I think uh, you're good yeah, now. Stream pulled up, sorry, guys. Um, now you're good. So my question to you is, first of all, were you expecting a 3-0? Because I know, Stewie, you and I were kind of talking on the back end how a little nervous you were, but uh, it didn't look like you guys were nervous at all going into this. Um, mm. you, can, you can answer that, Legendary. Well... I mean, we were kind of nervous at the start, but we just like kind of, in a sense, changed our mindset, I guess. So we just kind of had fun with it, and I don't know, just played our game. So played Rocket League. So yeah. Yeah. How do you guys think that second thought played? Because I mean, you guys have you know seen them on streams too. I think you might have casted a game or two of theirs. Uh, at least for me personally, this wasn't the second thought I'm, I was expecting. But I'm curious your guys' thoughts on their gameplay tonight. I thought that, that they played solid enough they, they were good i i'm not going to discredit them really at all i i think though that i i know both of them can play a lot better i've seen them play a lot better i i i don't know if they played as good as they can and it just came down to their mistakes and we kind of just capitalized on every single one but i i do see a lot of potential in both of those players yeah speaking uh, of mistakes what got, so yeah. what do you what do you think was really happening with greek there i'm noticing a lot of missed touches from him kind of giving you guys the ball a lot and then uh, obviously you guys putting it in the net and winning games. Uh, what do you think was going on? Just like I said, it's just, it was just consistency issues. Uh, if it's just missing the ball, that's what honestly it came down to or just a bad touch. And, and right now with, with how legendary played tonight with how I played tonight, I legendary had a very good series. He can he, I mean, he was capitalizing on every single mistake. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, as far as like the scoring goes, we literally we were talking about it. Just like you know, we didn't have to say Legendary's name too much because you guys were just on offense. Stewie just running around like a madman. Legendary, I don't think you missed a single clear. Like it was actually kind of ridiculous how consistent you were tonight. And we talked about just how good of support you were. And you guys, I mean, you know, Stewie, you kind of mentioned it. You guys are just played fast, and you guys countered a lot of their mistakes. And that was the game plan that worked tonight for you guys. And you're sitting very pretty as far as the standings are. And uh. I'm curious, who do you guys play continue this week? I don't, I don't remember. We have a bye. We have so a bye. Okay, we never, have a never bye. Mind, we play that mind. that difficult that bye team. Gosh, they're a tough matchup. Uh, they haven't lost um, yet. <laughs> they haven't they haven't won yet? Also, but. um, but we got, I believe, who do we have next week? We have Trey. Ooh, that's, that's, that's be, that's be, I was going to say, they are also, I think, tied for you guys for second place right now. But Bot Bot, do you have are. any uh, last questions for you, these guys before we let them go, you know, celebrate and go crazy at 11 o'clock on a, on a Wednesday? I guess Legendary, uh, not not really saying your your name a whole lot that match. Um, I mean, it, it was kind of nice from a standpoint of uh, we, we didn't have to say it because you didn't mess up. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Stewie's on a, <laughs> a offense a lot of time there. Um, do you... Do you think that you have uh, more of an opportunity on offense in future games, or, or are you just kind of the, the the second man playing defense, being really consistent, getting a lot of clears? What's your role? I mean, I'm trying to be like as consistent on offense as well, but like honestly, I'm just fine kind of being like the second man, hang back, and like just kind of be support. So honestly, that's kind of how I play normally. So, yeah. Sure, nice. Absolutely. Nice, nice, nice. Well, you guys, like I said, go enjoy the rest of your night. Congratulations on the win and best of luck in your uh, future endeavors. Thank you. All right. Adios. GG's, guys. All right. We're going to swap back over, make sure I can hear everyone. Hopefully, BotBot Bot has unmuted me. That was an interesting series. I really was not expecting a 3 0. I don't think anyone was. But uh, I will say, though, unfortunately, with how we saw Second Thought playing, I don't think it was too much of a surprise after that. 
Yeah, after that first game, it was it it, it was all kind of down. It was a little rough, a little rough, a little rough. Yeah, but yeah, that's all right. You know what happens? A uh, couple things though before we uh, log off tonight is I wanted to show one more time on stream uh, that we got some stickers for you guys. Uh, they came in the mail yesterday, so uh, you know you guys can see. I don't know how the detail detail is going to show up on camera. But uh, NDSU Rocket League stickers, we are going to be selling these uh, when we do our next little get-together in the eSports Lounge, uh, probably next Wednesday uh, for you guys. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you guys go there and you guys can uh, buy these bad boys. And also, because it's been a little while, I wanted to uh, talk about something else you guys are going to be fighting for, which uh, is the trophy. So the winner of the league gets a trophy. Uh, they get sweatshirts as well as they're winning some credits. So this is the bad boy that you guys are going to be fighting for. And uh, that is just for Div A. Div B, they're going to get slightly different trophies, which I still have to work on and make myself. But uh, yeah, this this bad boy trophy is what you're going to be fighting for as well as sweatshirts. Uh, if you guys are interested, you can check the Discord and see what the uh, sweatshirts look like for the last winners. We'll update them, you know, a little bit for uh, these next couple of games. But uh, yeah, this is what you guys are fighting for. And uh, it's really cool just to see... You know, get to see the prize pool coming out, and uh, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll have Greek Greek Avengers Sugar Daddy may you know sponsor the next season. Who knows? <laughs> and K Tool, I guess I don't I don't quite have the clearance uh, as you have, being that I've only casted one time. But can you let us in on what the the full season script looks like on who actually gets the trophy? Oh, Give us a hint. I suppose yes. So, I mean, I don't want to say that. I probably don't have to go very far to give the trophy to anyone. It might just, you know, stay here, but it'd make life easy for me, right? Then I want to give it to anyone if we just win. It makes life nice for me too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, By proxy. Just, exactly. Make make it easy for you guys. But do you have anything else to say to the world before we uh, call her a night here? Uh, use your Amazon Prime. Prime subs. Take <laughs> just, money straight out of Jeff Bezos' pocket. <laughs> And go. yeah, slap them into NDSU Rocket League because they're paying their casters now. So I will make True. fake. Wow, K2 hasn't won since 1843. You know what, Titan? You you and I, we had a good run. We, we could have taken it. But no, it's it's been a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys. All the support. We get a lot of support tonight uh, and appreciate. I think we might have hit a new peak as far as uh, total viewers. So again, appreciate everyone who's tuned in tonight. And uh, we've got more Rocket League action probably coming either Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know, it's tough to say, but you want to know, check out the Discord. Make sure to follow us. You guys can, you know, get notifications when we go live. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. 